Hi right, you sexy biscuits and welcome into Empire of Sin. So what is Empire of Sin? Well apparently Empire of Sin puts you at the heart of the ruthless underworld of the 1920s Prohibition era in Chicago. It's up to you to hustle, charm and intimidate your way to the top and do whatever it takes to stay there. So basically this is Mafia but with strategy elements. If we can name our character, I'm going to call them Don Salieri. Oh, so we can pick different people. Okay. Goldie Garneau, the one and only. Wow, I, I like her. Good choice. They've all got different abilities. Hi there. It's Maggie Dyer, and she's uh, Sir. But hi. Her boss ability is being a lion tamer. Amazing. Let's do some business together. Oh, the North Side mob. Oh, there's so many. You and I can do plenty of business together. Oh, he's cool. Last right. Surgically unload a full clip of your pistol into a target. If the target dies before the clip is empty, another target is automatically chosen. He's probably the most mafia style mafioso I've seen so far. Soy la reina de Chicago. There are so many people in this. I, I honestly don't know where to begin. <laughs> To be honest, I have no bloody clue. So you're the boss now, are you? Okay, right. Well, that's obviously the most mafia, mafia guy. Rain of fire. Fire a stream of bullets over the highlighted area. Anyone caught in the area of attack is suppressed and will take damage when they move. That's so cool. So this game's kind of got XCOM elements to it from what I've seen online. We're going to put the difficulty down to made because I've never played this game before. Enemy factions, we have 10. Neighborhoods, there are 10. Okay. March 1920, Alphonse Capon arrives in Chicago. Oh, there's dialogue options? You near Southside, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. Uh, you haven't met me yet. I'll give them a taste of how we do things in New York. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Ah, she's holding steady, my friend. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things there now. Swell guy. Gave me my first job. Frankie Yale, huh? The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? Wait, Frankie's in Chicago? Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face plastered on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. Yeah, that's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find him for you. If you help me with something. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Uh, sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale. How about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. Okay, so because we didn't just go straight to our apartment, we've got this as an option now. That's really cool. All right, you got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Okay, so we need to help out this taxi guy and find out who Frankie is. I'm assuming he's going to be a rival. I don't know why we haven't seen more strategy games based on the Mafia. There's been a couple I've seen over the years, but there definitely needs to be more. Welcome to the Empire of Sin tutorial. Um, yeah, show me the ropes. Go on. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. Okay, press R1 and move the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, this is really detailed. I didn't know it was going to be this up close. You can even see the prices of food. That's awesome. You can zoom in and out by pressing L2 and R2. Oh, wow. How far does this go? Okay, it's on the mini-map there. So we can't go too far. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Godfather game a little bit in terms of the street style. So if we press X here. Oh, okay. So Capone will then move up to where I send him to. Okay. Oh, we also have full control over him too. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right, let's uh, head over to this building. Chicago is a dangerous gotcha. place, and in order to survive, you're going to need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the gotcha. boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't going to know what hit them. So right now, they aren't attacking me. I'm just some random guy. I can then initiate an ambush. And then boom. In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above. And the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. So this guy's got a gun. We also have a gun. Okay, so we've got double fire. Fire your pistol twice in quick succession. Uh, we've also got a melee attack. 
And all of these use AP, obviously. So we've got Rain of Fire, uh, which we saw earlier. Overwatch, which is going to be useful when we're behind cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack him. Right, you ready? Fire! Oh! <laughs> Okay, we should be able to finish this guy off with our last attack here. That was a critical. Very good. Okay, he's behind cover. Oh, that was a critical. That's not good. Right, we need to move. So I need to get into cover. Let's move here. Now, in theory, I've only got one move left. So we can't do anything to this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Overwatch if I can. Okay, so I'm going to go into Overwatch. This is going to cost me one AP. Now, if he comes out or moves, my character will immediately start firing on him. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and you can mark where you want to look. That's awesome. Here we go. Fire. <laughs> Very nice. And we still have the defense bonus by being behind cover. That's really cool. My health isn't great right now. So what I may do is put down a rain of fire. Oh, I've got my Tommy gun out. Okay, awesome. Right, rain of fire. That's going to suppress him. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, I took 23 damage there and no loot recovered. Oh, I'm guessing you can, like, loot stuff then. That's cool. And let's make this a speakeasy. Taking a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. And it will then earn you money. Okay, awesome. Okay, I'm going to call it the Biscuit Bakery. <laughs> because why the bloody hell not? You're going to need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe. So open up the racket screen. The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Right. Select upgrade to go to the next level. Oh, that's cool. You can rush the upgrade by selecting the rush button. Go ahead and do that now. Whenever a game says you can rush this task by pressing the rush button, that always makes me cringe because of bloody mobile games. <laughs> You're like, hey, do you want to pay us a small amount of money to rush this task? Oh, no. Thankfully, that's not the case here. But, of course, it does cost us in-game money, so we do need to be careful about doing that. Since you got a stage, get yourself a band. Upgrading and improves your draw. Higher draw means more customers and more money. That's amazing. Yeah, do it. Go ahead and rush the band, okay. too. I'm sure they're used to it. It would be kind of cool if we could go into first person. That would be a really neat little feature if they added that. Can we do that, maybe? Oh, prefer higher frame rate or higher resolution? Well, I am running this on a PS5, um, so, I mean, I'm able to push this game as far as it goes, in theory. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire oh. grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better oh. hired guns, too. Uh, hire Maria Rodriguez. Uh, monthly take, 2%. Okay. And no upfront cost. Uh, Hugh Miller. Yeah. Now you got yourself gotcha. a squad. Just in time, too. Wow. Your new speakeasy isn't gonna last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. Let's take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. What? There's a full world map? Wow. Oh. Oh! <laughs> That's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, okay. Oh, and they'll walk over there. Oh, cool. Okay. You can play a lot of the game from the world map. I, I like the low-res version. You see that? That's awesome. Oh. Oh, my God. She has an LMG? The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. Wow, okay. I was not expecting her to just blast those guys with an LMG. Right now, I'm not in the best cover, so what I may do is move myself behind here. Now, that's going to use two AP points, right? And that's going to be rushing if I run over there. Could we get behind cover here and then use our last AP point to take down that guy? Okay, right. And then we're going to pick attack and we're going to shoot this guy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> right in the back. Okay, now you get behind cover here. Of course. And then could you just spray and pray like this guy? Yeah. Oh, I love the slow-mo too. That's so cool. Right, get behind cover by the bench. What are you able to do? Shotgun blast. Oh, nice. Does that hit my own character though? I'm wondering if this is going to be friendly fire. 
I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about this. Let's try it. Oh, it bloody missed. Crap. Oh, damn. Got hit. Okay. Right. Uh, he's behind cover, so what I could do... Execution. What? Wait, is it? Is that guy not dead? I can execute him? Wait, what? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I was not expecting that! Oh, so you can humiliate them? I'm wondering if you can maybe hire them as well. If you keep them alive after the match. Okay. I'm liking that this is cool. Nice. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black market's got everything you need. Open the black market. Now that you're in the shop, leave the shop when you have what you need. Sorry, th there's a, a beautiful golden Tommy gun in here for 20,000. We have not got enough money for this stuff. Ooh. Crowbar? $5,000 for a crowbar? Jesus, a stethoscope. When in the heat of battle causes that blood pressure to rise, be sure to check on the old timer with your lightweight, durable stethoscope. So it gives you 30 plus max health and five defense bonus. Now take over Ronnie's brewery to let him gotcha. know who's boss. Okay, could we enter any building? Wait, I think we can. Do you think we can take over every building and get like security payments every now and again? Like you could in stuff like The Godfather. Oh my god, that's amazing. Please let that be the case. All right, let's go and finish these guys off. Uh, yes, let's take in my crew. I'm really enjoying this. I did not expect it to be like this. Everyone's automatically getting to cover, which is good. Okay, so we have three people to worry about. I don't think those other two over there are going to do anything. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move myself over here, and then I'm going to put myself into Overwatch. Just in case we have anything happen, I'm going to target this guy. So if he comes out of here, he'll be scene and i'm gonna move capone over here and he of course is gonna probably get hit by this guy that's over there so what i may have to do i kind of messed up on that didn't i a little bit i may put down some suppressing fire on these guys right as soon as he pops out to shoot me hugh will take him out right suppress those guys that'll keep them down for a minute and then Oh god, he is suppressing so hard right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move Maria up here. Could she get a shot off here on that guy? Right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's still going. God, it's so loud. Okay, suppressing is over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was not expecting it to go on that long. Shit. Nice. Take this record over too. Breweries are critical to your empire. Each brewery can supply alcohol to a small number of rackets. Right. Select Takeover to make this one your... It's free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. Oh. So, yeah, it would cost us money to change it. Okay, let's take this. Who the fuck do you think you are? First my bar, and then my brewery? Calm down, Ronnie. There's no way to talk to your new boss, eh? When you decide that you want to talk face to face like a man, you know where to find me. Oh, I know where to find you. I'll see you real soon, okay? Ronnie O'Neill has summoned you for a sit down. Gotcha. Sit downs with another boss are serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take gotcha. place in safe houses too. Okay. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. I wonder if we can like upgrade our speech skills maybe? That could be interesting. Let's go talk to Ronnie. Let's see if we can maybe get him on our side. If not, I'm sure we can just kill him. You've been a thorn in my side since you got here, Capone. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of back in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. Well, maybe I'm missing something, but who made you the fucking king of Chicago? I've been doing this a long time. I know how to handle this city, and I'm telling you there's no room for someone like you. Well, look, I already took your rackets, O'Neill, and I'm not about to stop. 
If you've got a problem with that, why don't we settle it right now? I don't need any more enemies in this town. I'm trying to be reasonable. Just give me my rackets back, huh? Then we can put this whole mess behind us. <laughs> I ain't interested in being a friend, Ronnie. You're done in Chicago. That's it. I'm done wasting my time with you. Guards, take care of Mr. Capone here. I don't want no witnesses. Well, if it's going to be like that, it's your funeral, Ronnie. Okay, so we could have pulled, so we could have killed him straight away, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to see where that conversation would go. This is a boss battle. Oh. I to win at this game, you need to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours. Okay, somehow I snuck my team in here. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but yay! Right, so wait, where is everyone? So Ronnie's in there. Oh, and Capone is in there. Capone needs to take out Ronnie, right? I mean, we need to make that happen. So if we defend the outside, how many people have we got here? Oh, Maria took down one already. <laughs> God, she's too bloody good. Uh, Hugh, if you take down the guy that's over here. Okay, he's got an 87% chance. I think he's going to be okay. Shotgun blasts. Let's see. Fire. Oh, nearly dead. Right. I need to move Capone behind here just to give him some cover because I do not want him out in the open right now. Uh, lay down some covering fire. We're going to have to go for an execution, right? That's definitely something we're going to do. Let's set down a rain of fire right here. Keep this guy suppressed. Yeah, okay, right. He's suppressed. He's not going anywhere right now. Let's move Maria over here and burst fire at this guy. One? How did he move? Oh, crap. How did he move? He was being suppressed. This guy's got one health. Like, literally. <laughs> okay. Right, Hugh, you need to take this guy down now. Get behind cover. Right, just blow his head off. <laughs> God damn it, Hugh. Okay, you bastard, Ronnie. How the hell did you move so far? Uh, could we keep moving up? I know it's a bit ridiculous me doing this, but it's the only option I've got, unless... We do have a 100% hit chance. Oh, two criticals, okay. Right, Maria, finish this guy off. Okay, nice. Oh, bloody Ronnie. Let's get by the door. I'm not going to attack with them. I'm only going to be attacking with Capone because it's Capone's job to take this guy down. That's only fair. Right. Move Capone up. Okay. And then we're going to go for a couple of shots here. He has a lot of health. Uh, mainly because, of course, this is a boss battle in theory. Oh, that was good. He's going to probably move. So we could probably move in Maria here by the door just to take cover. Hmm. And if he does become... Oh! Sneaky bastard, he's running away. I did not expect that. Right, move up, Hugh. Move there. Uh, could we lay down some kind of suppression? Just so he doesn't do anything? You know what? Let's lay down an overwatch here. So we can then take him out if he does end up moving. Uh, Capone, if you move up... Uh, Capone, if you move up there. Okay. And you could probably get a shot off on him, right? Reload your weapon. That's going to take one AP to do that, but it's worth it. Right. Maria, if you could get behind cover here and lay down some suppression fire as well, just in case. Overwatch. Okay. Just in case. I don't think this is going to kill him. I hope it doesn't. Moving in. He's got one health left. Oh my god, this is perfect. Right. This is amazing. This has to happen. Right. Could we... Go for a melee finisher on him. All right, let's go. No, 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 not you. Not you. No. Oh, he missed. Oh, thank God. I accidentally picked the wrong character. Punch him in the face. <laughs> go for him. You got this. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm useless. <laughs> I missed punches twice. Ow. You dick. Oh, I can't believe him right now. No, no, no. It needs to be Capone. Capone needs to do this. Right. Direct shot to the face. Goodbye, Ronnie. You killed Ronnie O'Neill, the boss of the Meatpackers. His entire empire is now yours. You've got to take this city piece by piece. If you want a suggestion, you can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. There you go. 
that is the tutorial done. Um, I'm going to say right now, this this has been absolutely amazing. I did not expect a lot of the elements from this. I didn't know it was going to be so close to XCOM. And honestly, I love the XCOM style of strategy games. I really liked this. This was good fun. I'm annoyed I hadn't played this until now. This is available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It's also on the Switch as well, which is pretty damn cool. Anyway, comment down below and tell me what you thought of this game. I'll be back very soon with more The Getaway, and we'll also be playing a game called Made Men on PS2, which is a mafia-style game that's not too fantastic. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. A major thank you goes out to all my patrons who are flying up the screen right now. You guys are amazing and allow me to eat every month, so big thank you to you. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye guys.